And now the fun fucking begins. This part is um what I'm responding to was also made by V V V Mono, that's his name. And, you know, he he's the reason why I found this video. He's the reason why I am making this six part video. Response. Oh mm. I'm gonna have fun with this one. I have voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. Not allowed anymore to hijack causes of nobility and 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 you know ideological purpose to justify being an asshole to people. There seems to be a lack of understanding amongst this group of people of the basic notion that words carry power. When you say things, they get out into the world and people think about them and people act on them and people react to them. Words can only hurt you if you allow them. Eventually, words can hurt you, you know, if it gets too much, you know, but at the most part, you can either ignore the negative comments or deal with it. You know, that's that's how it works. And so you put people's addresses out there when they're famous. And now all of a sudden you got people stalking them and somebody gets hurt and somebody gets attacked and somebody gets killed all because you want to have a neat little joke on the internet. And I agree that we should draw a line between trolling and then invading someone's privacy. That I agree much about. And then you want to turn around and try to take something back and go, oh, well, see, we're good corporate citizens and you're just engaged in some sort of power trip, politically correct nonsense. We're really good people. No, you're not really good people. You're not really good people. If you're associating yourself with this, you're not really good people. Yeah, yeah, you know, a few bad apples in Gamergate, that's pretty much the majority of Gamergate. You know, you support Gamergate, you're a very bad person. But if you're a feminist, you get to ignore all those bad apples, you know, all those feminists who claim that they're for equality, but, you know, hate men who um, just come up with the same bullshit. We ignore those guys and just focus on the on the real heroes. You know, you're a hero. You're a hero, John Henry. Yeah. It's kind of ironic on how things work. There's always going to be someone in a certain group who's going to step out of line. But that doesn't make the entire group evil just because of that particular person. Gamergate has already stated, plenty of people have already stated that Gamergate is not about harassing people. We have women in support of Gamergate. We have people from, uh, you know, who are black, Asian, um, let's see, Spanish. We have people around the world in support of Gamergate. Three million people are in support of Gamergate. And you're telling me that we're just a big, massive hate group. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you're pretty much saying. That three million people are pretty much just hateful towards women. Yeah. Fuck. If you're associating yourself with the process of trying to whitewash and redeem the Gamergate hashtag, you're not really good people. What you are is an asshole trying to participate willfully in the whitewashing of an ongoing cultural crime against women. Again, there are plenty of women who are in support of Gamergate and beg to fucking differ. You're not good people. I don't care how much money you come up with. You can't pay for this anymore. Some people from Gamergate have donated to the fine young capitalists to create more female-friendly video games. And we're not good people? Yeah, that seems to make a lot of sense. You cannot generate enough cash to make it worth what you have people like this putting up with. And when I say you, I mean you. People who have this mentality and who think this way and think that there's any reason at all that's justifiable to act like this. 
pot calling the kettle black much? You can shove your solidarity up your ass. You're not part of a movement. Come on, fucker. Man, I know how that feels. There you go. These people, <clears throat> these people are trying to attach a label to themselves like they're a movement and make it all about journalistic ethics. You know, I, I have a hard time thinking of what would be a bigger douchebag move than that. How about silencing the opposing team? You know, like what you're doing right now with your fucking comments. Seriously. We all know you social justice warrior kinds. You ignore any form of criticism whatsoever and just shout out sexism or misogyny, misogyny, misogyny. You're just a bunch of misogynists. You're just a bunch of misogynists. Nah, nah, I don't have to listen to this shit. I'm a woman. Yeah, that's how you social justice warriors pretty much fucking act because you people think that you're so fucking special. You're trying to buy your way out of shit. You're trying to, to, to drag down the whole conversation and give people this sort of negative, you know, narrative that they can carry away so they can feel justified in being hostile and angry towards these female gamers. But it's totally fucking okay for you to silence other people for opposing what you're saying. Seriously, it is, this is the logic of the social justice warriors. If someone opposes your ideology, just censor them. Because criticism is a massive poison to any feminist whatsoever. You want to argue back and forth over these stupid little petty points. Oh, well, you know, there are women in the... Yeah, there's women in the gaming industry. There's women that play video games. We know that. You're the ones that seem to have a problem with it. Um... And yeah, sure, sometimes the, the rhetoric might get a little extreme. People go, well, you know, we don't have you know, enough representation in the industry. Well, you know what? As long as the population of females in the gaming programming and gaming fan base is less than what it is proportionally in the population, they're right. Yeah, because women have their own fucking interests. You know, it's not just video games that women just focus on, you know. They prefer much more safer environments to be in, such as nurses, doctors, uh, teachers, etc. They don't want to waste their time playing video games. There aren't enough, and there ought to be more. I'd certainly like to have any 50 of my female friends participating in any sort of social group or industry with me than one of these little astastic douchebags that have been going around pulling this crap. And you don't get to divorce yourself from it by attaching yourself from the, to the label and saying, oh, well, it's all better now because I'm here and I'm not like that. Yeah, just more straw man arguments. Just, you know, put everyone in the same boat, you know. Hey, you're a part of Gamergate, you're evil. You're a part of feminism, congratulations, you're good. Doesn't matter what your actions are, you know. You could burn down a fucking house. It's just as long as you believe in equality, you're a good guy. You're a really good guy. You are like that. You're just a bigger chicken shit than the people that you're trying to defend because they're like that in the open. You're like that back here when the lights are off and the doors are closed. One more video, and then I am done with John Henry. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. And, of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.